Hi, I'm Garrett, and this is my wife, Jennifer, and we left behind the bright lights of the big city to live out our own country version of the American dream. Welcome to At Home with Massey Ferguson. We had gotten a quote from a professional fencing company to just do mostly T-post and wire fence. And when we looked at the price of it, I said, for that, we could build, and you know, like T-post and wire fence isn't, isn't ideal. Um, best case scenario would be a wood fence. And when that quote came back about the same as what the lumber would have cost, I said, well, what if we just do it ourselves? The wire fence and T-post, yeah. not wood. Right, the wire <clears throat> fence. But for someone else to do it, that right. price was the same as lumber done by us and I thought he would think I'm crazy but I, I just kind of threw it out on a spreadsheet and I was like so just to give you an idea like this is what it would be and he didn't think I was totally nuts because you can see the advantage to the from the safety aspect but well it, it's definitely it looks better and it's stronger mm -hmm. but it um, certainly took us longer to to do it than, than it would have taken you know some professional crew right. to do and we could have just cut a check for it but this is, this is something we learned a lot doing. We began with a three-point auger on the back of the tractor. And up it in was the far that, corner up Yeah, there. the far corner up there. And <clears throat> that was the way I'd always done fence posts my whole life. And I knew it was gonna be tough, but we didn't put them every seven feet on the farm because we, by the time I came along, we were using round posts and T posts. The four by six posts was interesting to, to have to pack the holes back was the hardest part because we, we dug a 12 inch, we had a 12 inch auger, which is too big for the post really, but it, it allowed us to have room to slide the posts in and out and backward and forward so that the fence could be perfectly straight. And when we started out, we were too worried about being perfect. Mm -hmm. Like her dad didn't want to saw the tops and I really didn't want to either. So we had to dig the hole absolutely perfectly just to the perfect depth. And then they had to be spaced exactly seven feet apart, exactly. And then they had to be, was it plumb and square or whatever yeah, you, definitely. and it was just, and you'd move one and then the other three measurements would be off. Well, we got to about the 10th post and my dad looked at me. You know, he's trying to be optimistic. He was like, it's gonna take a long time. I was like, I know. What's well, a half you mile know. of fence and you're doing a post every seven feet? We messed around with that and put like 40 in the ground that way perfectly. And then I was traveling back then during the week and I called her one day before I was heading home and I said, are you okay if I buy an, a hydraulic post driver because I can pick it up tomorrow. I'm just going to go ahead and call someone and get that if that's okay with you. And she was like, yes. <laughs> yes, that'll be fine. Yeah, she was like, I thought you'd never ask. The first day we used it, you know, there was a big time learning curve. Jeff, the neighbor, came and showed us how to drive the first couple of posts. And then, you know, like the first Saturday that Dad came down here, he ran it and I drove the tractor and would carry posts around to him. So we would have the, the front end loader with the pallet forks on the front and we would have these four by six posts sitting on the front of the tractor with the hydraulic post driver on the back. And then I would back the tractor up to each spot where we wanted to drive a post. And we would drive it in, you know, dad would run it and drive it in the ground. And they're not perfectly straight. It, it's really, hard like there's no way actually to make that drive perfectly yeah. straight you'll but you'll hit a, hot, a soft spot or you'll hit a rock and then they'll kind of twist shift a little or so twist but we just got to where if you could kind of eyeball it we called it good we quit at one point his dad told my dad to just stop touching the level yeah like, just said just put the level it. down like this isn't furniture so. yeah exactly and it's not a house it's a fence yeah. on a farm to hold animals in you know it's, it doesn't have to be perfect and you know, when you back up and get away from it, it looks perfect. Yeah. You'd never know. You get far enough away, it's really straight. Yeah. <laughs> Next time on At Home with Massey Ferguson, we'll look back on our progress so far and outline what we're planning to tackle next. We'll also share some advice for people thinking about leaving behind the comforts of the city to live this country life. I'm Garrett, and we're the Davises. We hope to see you again soon.